Ahoy, fellow Vita comrades and welcome! Vita Umbro news for the May 2022 are here. First, we got some releases, then updates and highlights, and in the end, few of the new Yoyo Loader newcomers. So, let's get into it! First new release is called Tic Tac Toe by Mega Game Boy, thanks, and it is an iteration of the game with the same name for the PS Vita. I'm sure we all know what the game about. Uh, we had a loads of fun with it back in the day at the school with a pen and paper. The game features two modes, uh, one against bot and one against another player, and the outcome is usually draw. If you want to try it out, size is about 120 megabytes. Get it from the link down below. Second new release is a Vita FTP client developed by Saek, thanks. And as the name could imply, it is a simple FTP client app for the PS Vita, where you can easily download or upload files. It reminds me something like a FileZilla on a Windows PC, but this one is for a PS Vita. So now you can even connect two Vitas uh, via FTP together and transfer files over, which I believe hasn't been previously possible. And for somebody like me with more Vitas, it is definitely very useful. You can find a link for it down below, and the size is about 10 megabytes. Also, guys, if you are enjoying these kind of videos, like and subscribe, because there is certainly more to come. Now to the update, first for Os Octave, the open source rhythm game to the version 1.2 developed by Glintwine, with some minor visual improvements, with added translation support and Ukrainian and Russian languages, and other changes that you can see on the screen right now. If you are actively playing it, make sure to update it to the latest version via Homebrew Browser or VitaDB. Second update is for Multibuilder, developed by DRock17 to the version 1.12. And if you don't know, it is a tool for Windows PC that allows you to create the bubbles for your live area. It combines all the builders into one package, so now you can create bubbles for RetroArch, Daedalus X64, Take08, ScumVM, Adrenaline, and with the latest updates, now there is also an option to create the bubbles for the YoYo Loader. Which is awesome, especially when you are a big fan of bubbles. Again, you gotta have Windows PC to use it, and you can get it down below. Third update is for Raft by Burnaby to the version 1.3. You can now use the spare and the sensitivity has been adjusted so the aiming should be much better now, which I can confirm. It is still work in progress though, so the save states are not implemented yet, but expect more quality of life improvements to come.
Now quick call out to all PlayStation Vita owners. There is another initiative and this time we are trying to gather as much PS Mobile games as humanly possible. Out of 710 games released for the platform, currently only about 230 have been archived and saved from being lost forever. Therefore we are reaching out to you guys in hopes that we can increase this number exponentially. So in case any of you own, I mean legitimately, that means you've bought it, because that's very important, any of the PlayStation Mobile games that are not preserved yet, please reach out to the Reddit post creator Radical R via the link down below. You can also find there the list with the missing games, so please don't hesitate to click if you happen to own any of them from non-pirated sources, because as I said, it's, if it's from uh, PKGJ or MPS, it's not really useful. I've also found this cool project that I want to highlight, the mini PS5. <laughs> Basically it's just a PS TV inside of a custom tailored shell. I do really appreciate the idea and I thought you should witness it too. What do you think? Impressive, isn't it? Absolutely, but uh, Sony should have come up with something like this in the first place and not leave it for us bedroom zealots. Thumbs up! And now, finally, to the UA loader. Many awesome updates have been pushed, and right now about 150 games are fully playable. Yeah, you heard it correctly, 150. And I think we are just getting started in here. The biggest changes include some general interface overhaul, so now we can see not just pretty thumbnails slash covers slash banners of the desired title, but we can also watch it in its animated short kind of trailer form which is very eye-pleasing and useful. Color palette has been changed to green to match the Game Maker Studio 1. Now there is also available even some basic online functionality, which makes the Yale Loader first homebrew of its kind, and games like Super Mario Maker World Engine are now supporting it. The, compatib the compatibility list has been integrated in the loader itself, and you can see it under the bottom right-hand corner of the co cover. There has been even added support for multiple controllers, so you can now enjoy up to 4 players co-op in the titles like Metal Slug Phantology. Last but not least, YOLO the now supports experimental portrait mode, just rotate your Vita in order to use it, some games already works perfectly with it and some not so much. Now let's check out some newcomers that I've managed to get running. Many of them requires asset swap, but uh, it can be easily performed. If you need any help in hand, reach out to our favorite subreddit or head over to our Discord, where some good soul will surely guide you through it. First game we are looking at Arcane Soul, which is a super fun kick-ass 2D action game that combines certain elements from RPGs with the direct combat system used in games like Muramasa. The physical buttons are supported, which is a must for these kind of games. If you haven't tried it yet, surely give it a go. Second one, Alien Bastards. An arcade style shooter with heavy inspiration from the legendary Space Invaders. If you're into it, this one is no brainer too. Physical controls work fine. Third is the Mega Man 1 remake. Also, if you are not sure what boxes to tick in the settings in order to yield the best results, like myself, make sure to click the game in the compatibility list and that will lead you to the GitHub issue page, where it's all properly explained. Sometimes there are even links to the games, like in this case. So the full Mega Man 1 remake plus some extras works flawlessly, 
Gamepad is supported, difficulty old school unforgiving, not for the faint of heart. Fourth title, Moon Striker, vertical school and shoot em up. The player is destroyed with one hit, but if there are reserve players, player revives on the spot. Buttons work out of the box and I had some nice time with it, so if you like what you see, get it running today. Fifth one, Metal Slug SB Fantology, with three fully playable Metal Slug fan made games. Thus, another no brainer for all the run and game diehard junkies, including myself. Shout out to the original creator, Super Blinky, for another magnificent piece of art. Zealous Chuck wholeheartedly approves, and buttons are, of course, working out of the box. Sixth title, Zombies Bullets and Jeans, 2D top-down twin stick arena shooter where there is only one single objective, to survive hordes of zombies while upgrading your character. For this one, touch controls only, but I believe it can be mapped to buttons via Revita plugin or Revita, same like with the upcoming title, Super Mario Maker World Engine. It is an incredible fan game, which faithfully recreates the popular game Super Mario Maker. Create your own levels, save them and share with your friends. Use all the tools available to create the craziest levels and give it the appearance of your favorite Super Mario. You can choose, you can choose between Super Mario Bros. 1, 3, World and you. I'm not really a Super Mario fan, but I can certainly see why it is so appealing. And I have to admit, it appeals even to me, for an unknown reason. <laughs> I've been trying out mostly the create function, which is uh, by itself loads of fun. If you want to play levels that other people have created, I believe you gotta register and login first, which I haven't done yet, but I will for sure in the near future. The game uses touch input only, but as I've said, the RE Vita plugin can be used to remap it to the physical controls. Overall, this is a solid title that absolutely belongs to every YoYo Loader library. Two thumbs up! And that would be it for this video, if you enjoyed it please give it a like, subscribe to not miss upcoming content, if you are on a mobile please check out my stories, I've just started to create some, also please check out my affiliate links to support the channel, the super thanks feature is also available under the video, check out also our discord, my socials, all the links are of course down below, I would like to thank you all for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one, peace.